So a woman shares her single child-free weekend plans on the internet and the single men lose their ever-loving mind. Here's what she said. It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. I'm 29 and single and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10.15. Every time I thought, I should probably get up and do something. I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. And I danced and drank my little heart out. And I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. Literally nothing problematic, nothing triggered that you would think right but here's what the men have to say about it this man says her life doesn't revolve around her family and kids so instead it revolves around tv shows and pop stars worst of all she's too stupid to realize how depressing that is depressing for who like what she's describing sounds lit like beyonce for the weekend sleeping in she goes on to talk about you know going to try this new dish that she wants to try and she's like i don't have any obligations society really has tried to make me feel guilty or make me feel like i'm behind in life because i'm not married yet and i don't have kids yet but i feel fulfilled that's all she was saying but you have men on the internet now uh threatening to off her because she's happy about her weekend plans. Like, this is the thing. Some of these men are so lonely that it has made them, like, so jaded and so miserable. The fact that you were threatened to do that because she's happy being single. These are the same kind of men that were trying to justify a young woman getting hit on the side of her head with a brick. Saying that you, you ladies say you're independent, right? Where's all that independence now? Like, you would wish physical harm on a woman because she's happily single? Some of these single men are miserable. They hate the fact that you seem happy without them. The fact that you would be okay with a woman getting hit on her head with a, with a brick because she refused to give a man her number? And you say, well, that's what you get for being single? A woman shares her weekend plans with you and you're like, for what? These same men have the nerve to act surprised that the birth rate is dropping and the marriage rate is dropping. Look at who's out here. All women have ever asked you to do was to step up and to be better. But you want somebody to take you as you are. But you're the kind of person that's okay with a man hitting a woman upside her head with a brick. You're not the best choice. That's why nobody's choosing you. Not every woman dreams of being one of your wives. Not every woman dreams of giving birth to some of your children. Some women have their own dreams, their own goals, and they don't include you. They don't include men. You are not the only way that a woman can be happy. Being connected to one of you does not give every woman's life meaning. She'd rather be single than feel she has to raise a grown man. She'd rather be single than have a man sit in her face and weaponize his incompetence. She'd rather be single than be a married single mom. These women are choosing themselves. It's not selfish when y'all do it. But when a woman does it, it's like, oh, as if we were only born. We were only created just for you and your pleasure. A woman can't possibly have a fulfilling life without one of you in it. Some of these men are jealous because your happiness is genuine and theirs is fake. They want to punish you for being happy without them. That's why they're happy. That's why they secretly, some of them secretly celebrate that woman getting hit on the head with her, with a brick. Because that's what they want to do to women who don't want them. Like the man who came on here and was like, you know, women who, do, who don't give nice guys a chance to deserve to be great. That's how some of them genuinely feel. He represents more of the men out here than want to admit. There are some of them that are that furious, that are that horrible, that despicable, that that's how they feel about women choosing themselves and not them.